morning, everybody. It's Renee at Tailspin Farm. I wanted to pop on today and show you how I spin 100% Angora fiber. I had a video um, that I posted on Saturday that showed you how I comb or pluck my rabbits. And I'm going to take all that luscious fiber. This is what I got off from Beatrix. And I'm going to show you how I spin 100% Angora. I am using my Ashford Traveler today. This is my go-to wheel. I've had her for probably 15 years. I also have an Ashford Kiwi that I use to ply a lot of my yarn because it has a bigger bobbin. And so with, um, with my Traveler, this works just fine for the Angora. I spin fairly thin most of the time and can get quite a bit on a bobbin. Um, I have mastered that art of stuffing a bobbin really full. And today I will show you, now I will do a second video um, probably next week on how I prepare clipped Angora. In the summer I always clip my rabbits down because it does get hot here. And I try to keep them trim in the summer. In the winter I mainly comb and pluck for the fiber and it's easier for me to spin straight that way. Um, when I clip them or when I shear them, I need to, for my preference, I hand card all of the clipped or sheared fiber. There's blunt edges that I don't like to spin with. And when you hand card those, you smooth out everything. And I'll do another video on that next week and how I spin from Essentially, you're making roll eggs off the hand carters. But today, I wanted to show you how I spin um, just 100% uh, combed right from the rabbit. And I, the video that I did that on um, is right before this one. You will be able to see it. So essentially, all I do is take a handful. And I think I spin backwards. I'm not sure. You know, when you watch a lot of these videos, it is backwards to you guys. I think I spin left-handed. I think most people draft with their left hand and hold with their right. I am opposite. I hold all the, the fiber that I'm using at that moment in my left hand and I draft with my right hand. And I'm not sure how this video will come through if it is backwards or not. I'll have to see once I load it. So what I essentially do is take a bunch in my hand. And remember, this has all been combed straight from the rabbit. And I take it and get this started. Let me get you so you can see my hands. I do have a double treadle, which means I have two pedals down here. Both my feet are working. Um, sorry about that. The camera is moving. When I first tried a wheel out at a yarn shop, it was a double treadle and it just was very comfortable for me. And so I stuck with that, and that's what I got when I got my own wheel. So it has two pedals, just like riding a bike. And for me, I think it helps my brain to be more consistent with everything that's going on. Because your feet and your hands are all working at the same time when you use a spinning wheel. So essentially, I get this started. What I'm doing with my hands, let me see if I can turn so you can see. I am using my left hand to let anything into my right hand that I want um, and that will change the diameter of the yarn or the single that I'm doing right now. I'm spinning a single and then I will take two of these and spin a double into yarn is typically how I do it for two ply yarn with Angora. So nothing that goes through my right hand, my drafting hand. Um, I am real cautious about what I allow to go through there and my right hand is kind of quality control. Um, and that is how I spin. So my left hand is separating the fiber um, and working to kind of draft, uh, not draft, but I am using my left hand to work with the right hand and then the right hand drafts the fiber. This would be consider, considered worsted um, spun yarn. Worsted spun yarn is a shorter draft. 
I am not doing a long draw method. A long draw drafting gets you woolen spun yarn, and woolen spun yarn is more of the, it has more of a hand spun look to it. It's fluffier, it's more airy yarn. This is much more, um, as you can see here, hopefully you can see, this is a clean single. Um, although with Angora, it does have what people refer to as a halo effect. So you will see that on the yarn. And that's just the, the beautiful part of the Angora is when you wear Angora yarn in any anything, whether it be a hat or a scarf, um, you will see the halo effect that happens. The more you wear it, the more more it gets halo. And it's just a really pretty effect. Now I do use 100% Angora on most of the products that I make. And I do make hats, I make scarves, I make mittens, um, I make fingerless mittens. I do make jewelry, you can see. I have some of my jewelry back here that I have designed and created to use my Angora because the Angora is very warm and not everyone is in a place where they can wear. Here in Michigan, it's awesome because it's extremely warm in the winter, but then in the summer, I still like to wear my Angora. So I've created the jewelry in order so that I can do that. So you can see I am just kind of picking and pulling through the yarn that I got from Beatrix the other day. And that's how I spin my Angora. You can see on the bobbin there, I've got quite a bit on there. I will try to remember to pop on, probably next week I'll post a video on how I, I'll show you how I clip the rabbits with shears and then I will hand card it. It does give it a different um, look to the yarn and I will post that next week so that you can see how I do 100% Angora. So if you are interested, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I do have this YouTube channel, obviously. And I have a website, Tailspin Farm. Um, if you type that in Google, you're gonna find me. And if you have any questions, you can pop them in down below or you can message me. And I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon.